Hi, welcome back. Yesterday, I introduced the red-side dace as an endangered fish living right here in the Toronto area. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit more about what makes the red-side dace unique among Ontario fishes. The red-side dace is a member of the cyprinid family, or more commonly known as minnows. Now, while fish in the minnow family can range in size, we often think of minnows as very small fish, and the red-side dace certainly fits this category. They max out at about 12 centimeters in length. The red-side dace can be identified by a bright red stripe on the side of their body that extends about halfway down their body. And that's right below a bright yellow stripe that extends almost all the way across their body. Red-side dace can live for about three to five years of age, and they are a schooling species. So red-side dace live in groups of other red-side dace, and they can be found among other native minnow species and sucker species. One of the most fascinating things about red-side dace is that their main food source is actually terrestrial insects. So they have an upturned mouth for jumping out of the water and catching insects like mosquitoes hovering right above it. Another interesting thing that the red-side dace does is that the female red-side dace will lay their eggs in the nest of other fish species, specifically common shiner and creek chub. And this is a really clever strategy because this affords a certain amount of protection for those eggs and the red-side dace doesn't have to do any extra work. To learn about the red-side dace, biologists use a variety of different strategies to study them in the wild. So they might use visual observations, net seines, or backpack electrofishers to find out more about red-side dace. Or, more commonly these days, we use video cameras either underwater or placed above the water surface to catch spawning or feeding behavior. Finally, another thing that biologists do is collect water samples, and they can analyze the eDNA from within those water samples to detect the presence of red-side dace in a watershed. But how do we know where to look for red-side dace and what kind of habitat do they need to survive? We'll find out more about that in the next video.